Hello boys and girls, welcome to the Ministry of Education and Partners COVID-19 Teaching by Radio program. The Ministry of Education and Partners COVID-19 Teaching by Radio program is a 30 minutes radio intervention support program that is meant to provide continuous instruction to keep you academically engaged during this stay-at-home period as well as preparing you our 6th, 9th and 12th graders for the Penny Liberia Primary School Certificate Exam, Liberia Junior High School Certificate Exam, and West Africa Senior Secondary Certificate Exam when the time comes. Also in addition to this academic support, the program is meant to provide psychosocial support for learners, teachers and parents, and also tips on how you as parents and teachers can provide support to your students and children at home. Now, let's join our teacher for today's lesson. My name is Felicia Saki Dosuma, and I am your teacher for today. So this is our grammar class, and this class is for grades one and two, or level one. This grammar class is for grades one and two, or level one. And our topic today is using verbs correctly using verbs correctly. Now boys and girls, please get your pencil and your pens and copy book if you haven't got them yet and come and let's learn. Right after our health tips, you will listen to our lesson. Coronavirus spreads via droplets. When the person coughs or sneezes, the droplets land on surfaces and are picked up hands of others and spread further. People catch the virus when they touch their infected hands to their mouth, nose or eyes. It follows that the single most important thing you can do to protect yourself is keep your hands clean by washing them frequently with soap and water or hand sanitizer. Now boys and girls, Let's do a quick review of verbs. I'm very sure that you have heard the word verb. So this is a review for many of you. Verb. How do we spell verb? Verbs. Verbs. Good. You remember your first lesson, right? Verbs begin with the letter V. So it is V E R B S verbs. Now to go through this lesson, let's do a quick review through the following questions. Number one, what do you do at school? You go to school every day, and when you go to school, what do you do? Wow, I can almost hear your answer. We play, we eat, we walk, we write, and we sing. And I know there are many other things that we do. We draw, we salute the flag, and so many things that we do. All of those things that we do, those words that we just talked about, are describing actions. They are describing the actions that we show on a daily basis. The next question, what do we do when we go to church or when we go to the mosque? We all know we go to church on Sunday. Christians go to church on Sunday, right? And I know many of you around the radio are Christians. Equally so, there are many of you who are Muslims. You go to, church, to, to the mosque on Friday. So when you go to the church or you go to the mosque, what do you do? Great. I heard you say we pray, we sing, we bow down, we greet each other, we walk to the car. Very good. Now, all of those words are describing our actions. So now we say a verb is a word that shows action. Right now, I am standing, I am teaching, I am speaking. Those are all words that show the actions that I am doing. Now, boys and girls, before we go further into our lesson, let's sing a song about verbs. 
Aha. I know some people who know me are asking, I didn't know Mrs. Nosoma could sing. Yes, I can sing when it has to do with you boys and girls. So let's start our song. One, two, three, go. All action words and verbs, they make writing superb. Hi, hold a coconut tree. All action words and verbs, we run, we jump, we play. We laugh, we sing, we run. Hi, hold a coconut tree. All action words are verbs. Very good. Let's sing that song one more time. All action words are verbs. They make writing superb. Hi, hold a coconut tree. All action words are verbs. We run, we jump, we play. We laugh, we run, we sing. Hi, hold the coconut tree, all action words are verse. Give yourselves a big game, boys and girls. Okay, now, boys and girls, I'm going to read some sentences to you, and I want you to listen. Action words, we'll be using our action words. But how do we use our action words? You know, when we talk about action words, we also refer, we always refer, we link it to a person, a place, or a thing. For example, number one, mama feeds the baby. Listen carefully. Mama feeds the baby. What is the actual word in the sentence? Mama feeds the baby. How does that actual word end? What letter do you find at the end of the action word? Very good. The verb ends with the letter S. I am very sure you heard the S sound. Mama feeds the baby. Now let's read that sentence for you once more. Mama feeds the baby. How many persons are we talking about when we say mama feeds the baby? Who is feeding the baby? Good, mama is feeding the baby. How many persons are we talking about when we say mama? Only one person. So if we are talking about only one person, the verb we had is having S. And you're talking about only one person, that is a singular noun. And I'm sure we remember that from our last class. A singular noun would name only one person. Teacher, baby, boy, football, only one. So we say mama feeds the baby. Very good boys and girls. Now let's go to sentence number two. Sentence number two. The babies drink drink milk. The babies drink milk. How many persons are we talking about when we say babies? More than one baby, right? You can have a five-month-old baby, you have a three-month-old baby, you have all of them there and they are drinking milk. But we want to find out which verb to use. The baby drinks milk. How does the verb look? In our first sentence, Mama feeds the baby. Mama is only one person, so the verb had an S. This time, the babies, we're talking about how many babies? Did I hear one baby or more than one? Very good, more than one baby. So if we say more than one baby, the verb will not have an S. Do we have it? The babies drink milk. Very good boys and girls. Babies refer to only one baby. Therefore, the verb does not need an S. Let's read that sentence one more time. Babies drink milk. Very good. Now let's take a break and listen to our help tips. Remember, we must all engage in good health practices so that we can live long and be able to go back to school. What are the symptoms of COVID-19? COVID-19 symptoms include cough, fever, shortness of breath, 
In rare cases, COVID-19 can lead to severe respiratory problems, kidney failure, or death. If you have a fever or any kind of respiratory difficulty, such as coughing and shortness of breath, call your doctor. Welcome back, boys and girls. Now that we have listened to the help tips, let's continue working with verbs. When we understand verbs, we need to match the right noun with our verbs. That is, we just said babies drink milk. Now, when you can match your verbs correctly with your subject or your nouns, you will speak very well. When you practice it and your friends will keep asking, oh, the boss speaking color now. No, he's not speaking color, he's just speaking correct English. You use a singular verb with a singular noun or a singular subject, a plural verb with a plural noun or a plural subject. So they must work hand in hand. So when you say, my friends eat rice, are we correct? We're talking about more than one friend. The friend already has the S in us, but it is already plural, right? So we're not using a verb with S, we're using a verb without S. Now let's go through some more practice, boys and girls. The more we practice, the better our language, our spoken language becomes. Number one, listen carefully, write your answer correctly, and at the end of the sentences, I'm going to give you the answer. You are going to listen and tell me which sentence is written correctly. There are two sentences I will read, and you tell me which one is correct. But remember, Think about the noun or what the sentence is about and think about what the verb should be and then you let me know your correct answer. Number one, my teacher reads a story. My teacher reads a story. Now, the next sentence, my teacher read a story. My teacher read a story. A story. One more time. My teacher reads a story. How many teachers? My teacher read a story. Good. I know you have your answer now. So let's listen. The correct answer and the reason why we have the correct answer, we say we must find out how many persons are we talking about. My teacher reads a story. That's one. My teacher reads a story. So number one is correct. My teacher reads a story. One teacher, the verb we have an S. Give yourselves a big hand. Very good boys and girls. Sentence number two. The girl works here. The girls works here. In sentence number one, how many girls are we talking about? The girl works here. Number two, the girls works here. Aha, I know I can hear you with your answer. The correct answer is the girl works here. Very good. If we're talking about more than one girl, then we will have to remove the S from work. And we say, the girls work here. Very good. Now, our next sentence. We write a story in our class. So when we say we, how many persons are we talking about? We write a story in our class. And the next one says, we write a story in our class. When you say we, you are talking about yourself and somebody, the other one person or more than one person. So you're talking about more than one person. So we write a story in our class. 
or will you write a story in our class? Your answer, check your answer. If you said we write a story in our class, you are correct. Because we're talking about more than one person, so the verb does not need an S. Very good boys and girls. I know you did answer all of your questions, but in the event that you did not answer all of your questions, please make the corrections now. Good. There's one last sentence. My father drives a new car. My father drives a new car. My father drives a new car. The next sentence, my father drive a new car. Which one is correct? Your correct answer is, my father drives a new car. My father is just one person, so the verb needs an S. Good. Again, boys and girls, we must do more practice with our verbs so that our language becomes better and better by the day. We'll do one last set of practice right after our health tip break, and then we come back and practice our sentences. So for now, let's listen to some health tips on keeping ourselves healthy and strong. Coronavirus spreads via droplets. When the person coughs or sneezes, the droplets land on surfaces and are picked up on the hands of others and spread further. People catch the virus when they touch their infected hands to their mouth, nose, or eyes. It follows that the single most important thing you can do to protect yourself is keep your hands clean by washing them frequently with soap and water or hand sanitizer. Welcome back boys and girls. Now we have two verbs in a sentence and you are going to choose the correct verb for me. Sentence number one. Make sure you write the sentence. Musu laugh laughs at her friends. Musu laugh, laughs at her friends. Now, Musu is how many persons? Did I hear two? Oh, one. When you say Musu, you're talking about only one girl. So what is the answer? Musu laugh, laughs at her friends. Musu is just one person, so we say Musu laughs at her friends. Good. If you got that, check it. Number two, David and Rose sweeps, sweep the class. Two persons, right? Good. David and Rose sweeps, sweep the class. So we're talking about more than one person, so the verb does not need an S. The answer is David and Rose sweep the class. Good. Number three, Julia tells, tell long stories. Julia tells, tell long stories. What is your answer? Good. The answer is Julia tells long stories. Julia is just one person, so we say Julia tells. Now sentence number four. The footballs drop, drops down. The football drops, drop down. How many footballs are we talking about, boys and girls? 
good. We are talking about more than one football. So your correct answer, if you've written it down, your correct answer is the footballs drop down. So it does not be an S. Very good. Now our last sentence. Sentence number five. Daddy work works at the bank. Daddy work works at the bank. How many persons? Daddy is just one person. So we say daddy works. If it is only one person, we add an S to the verb. So we say daddy works at the bank. Good. I am very sure all of you have your answers correct. If you miss any of them, please make your correction. Okay, boys and girls. We're going back for our health tips to make sure that we are safe. Fellow Liberians, let's stand together to fight coronavirus. God bless Africa and the rest of the world. Now, welcome back, boys and girls. All through all of our lesson today, we have been talking about verbs and how to use verbs. Which verb to choose for which subject or noun? And all of what we have been doing is to make sure you speak and write correctly. We don't want you going and talking to your friends when you become a big girl or a big boy and you go to the office and you're asking the people, you go to find somebody, excuse me, do you work here? Excuse me, does she work here? No, we want you to speak correct English. So some of the things that we have talked about today, one, we say a verb is a word that shows action. And we can show different action. We can jump, we can stand, we can dance, we can walk. So we say any word that shows action is a verb. The second one we say singular verbs are used with singular nouns. Or subjects. That's why we say, my father works at the bank. And we say, plural verbs are used with plural nouns. And we say, the players run on the field. More than one player will run on the field. The players run on the field. Very good. Now, boys and girls, I know you had a good time here today. What I want you to do for me is to make sure you practice making more and more of those sentences, write more sentences, read more sentences, go into your reading book, find those sentences and see how subjects are working along with verbs. Until next week, please continue to practice using your verbs and make sure you consider the number of persons before you choose a verb. If you have any questions about this lesson or you would like to know more about the program, please send your text message to the following numbers 0886 554 670. 0886-554-670 or 0777-554. 670. Boys and girls, please keep safe. Wash your hands, make sure you are indoor, and make sure you are safe until we meet again next week. I have been your English teacher, Felicia Saki Dosuma. Happy